Yeah, my education, obviously I was born in Wales, a place called Glen Amman, which is in the Amman Valley in Carmarthenshire. I did primary school there, loved it, uh, bought up in Welsh medium as well as English, even though my parents are English. Um, came, came through then to secondary school, but my father's job took me away then, I went off to Surrey to, and then followed up to Leicestershire. But eventually came back to Wales and then became a mature student then at Polygacy at Guard, or at CCT as it was in those days. And I um, came back then, did HND in Medical Electronics at the age of 40, hired on through, um, got my degree there in Electronic Engineering. And uh, I'm actually now employed by the college, they give me a job afterwards. I've had a lot of contact with the industry through various other jobs, working, uh, if you like, Welsh Assembly sponsored, uh, or ESF or ERDF sponsored initiatives from Europe, where we've actually, between colleges and universities, uh, I've worked for Cardiff University as well in the past, um, spent a lot of time helping companies with product development, product ideas, trying to get the, if you like, the, the, um, the skills and the, the expertise from the universities and the colleges back Back into, um, back into the companies that we're, we're associated with and work with, and vice versa, of course, you know, because that, that, that keeps us up to touch with what's going on in the, if you like, in the real world, because academia can be a little bit of an ivory tower, you know. This, this robot um, is built by a German company called Festo, who have a big stand over the over here today. Um, it's a, it's, I think it's about £5,000 worth. It's been lent to us, as it were, on a long term loan by uh, an organisation called SEMTA, Sector Skills, for, Sector Skills Council for Manufacturing. They, they basically lent it to us so that we can actually compete using our students in competitions nationally. So I took two students last year for the training session at Stafford University uh, back in October last year and prepared them then for a, a UK competition which took place in July last year at Middlesex University. Um, we didn't win, but there we are, we, we, we did our best and the hope is that we will possibly get a, an all Wales competition going because at the moment there are three robots in Wales, you know, there are only three. Uh, we have one, Neath Matalba uh, College have one and, and Patrick Hill College have one. So we're, we're at the moment talking about maybe getting a, an all Wales competition and getting some of the younger kids involved because we teach from 16 year old up, you know and get them involved early into understanding the, the robotic side of things, the automation side of things. There's a bit of program involved, but it's more a sort of a, a, a process of how we, do, how we go about organizing the robot and it's working. It looks very simple, but actually making it do what it wants to do is quite difficult. So we, we want to get kids involved, maybe get an all wheels competition, and that then could be a feeder for the UK competition.